The new GMDSS tester reached the market on September 2018. The MRTS7M is a portable handheld device that provides testing of GMDSS equipment, ACE, EPROP, VHF and MFHF radio stations, NAPTEX and others. The multifunctionality and lightweight make this device the most wanted GM GMDSS tester for radio sewing. In this video, I will show you how to perform the annual testing of COSPA SARSAT EPRO as it is required by SOLAS Convention. The volume and order of the tests are described in IMO Circular 1040 and we will follow it. First of all, we need to carry out the visual inspection of EPRO to be sure that it has no damages, check that lanyard firmly attached and not tied. Then check the battery's expiration date, hydrostatic release unit and replace if necessary. Then start the testing by MRTS7M. First of all, let's turn on our tester and switch it to proper test mode. We go to test menu, select testing probe and we may select auto test mode. In this mode, the tester will automatically measure all EPROP's parameters in channels 406 MHz and 121.5 MHz. We should select the proper test configuration, press F2 key, select test by antenna and escape. It will be saved automatically. We will perform auto-test mode, press enter and wait for a signal from EPROP. Now we should turn on the beacon to emit the signal. We place the probe on the recommended distance of 3 to 5 meters. Now we turn it to the self-test mode, what is strongly recommended for testing purposes. The probe emits a signal and we wait until the tester receives it. We hear audio confirmation of homing signal presence. Let's check the results. On the MRTS7M LCD, we see the decoded data of COSPA Sarsat message, beacon hex ID, protocol type, country code, power level in dBm, frequency in kHz, complete message content in hex format, phase deviation, unmodulated carrier duration, total transmission time. Then the home and signal measurements, its carrier frequency in Hertz and power level in dBm. We press F2 to save results. Press Enter to confirm the profile number. It's saved in profile number 33. We can check the test results in the memory of the tester. Go back to main menu, view profiles. We select the profile number 33 by pressing left and right buttons. Here is our profile. All data is saved. Scroll the results by up and down keys. If you don't need to test the home and signal or your beacon doesn't have this channel, like for example PLB, it is possible to test 406 MHz frequency only. We go to test menu, select test ePro, then select test channel 406 MHz and wait for the message. Now we take our PLB to recommend the distance of 3 to 5 meters and press test button. The PLB emits the signal. We see that MRTS7M has received and decoded the COSPA SARSAT message, beacon hex ID, protocol type, country code, beacon serial number, power level in dBm, frequency in kilohertz, complete message content in hex format, phase deviation, unmodulated carrier duration, total time of transmission. We press F2 to save results. Press Enter to confirm the profile number. OK, it's saved. Sometimes you need to test only the homing channel. I will show you how to do it with MRTS7M. Let's switch the tester to proper test mode. Then we send test signal by our EPROP from the distance of 3 to 5 meters. And we are waiting for signal.
we hear audio confirmation of homing signal presence. That's OK, the switch signal is received. Let's check that MRTS7M hasn't measured. We see nominal frequency in kilohertz, carrier frequency, signal power level, modulating audio frequency variation limit, amplitude modulation depth. Press F2 to save results. Press Enter to confirm the profile number. Here is a small advice for you. You may save separate test results of channel 406 and channel 121.5 in one profile number. So you will get these results in one profile and then you can create one test report. We think we have all data required to create test report to confirm that a probe passed the test and can be used in emergency situation. To make test report, we run the software. Connect MRTS7M by means of USB to a laptop and turn on the tester. In program window, we go to download data menu and press download data button. The results are now downloaded. We select the needed result and press details. We see the measurement the results. We can input details of the e of the hydrostatic release unit and batteries, ship details, place of survey, and press save. Finally, we select the needed type of test report. For example, it's shore-based maintenance test report, annual test report, and general test report. It is possible to save it in DOC or PDF format or simply print right now. Press print and if your computer is connected to a printer like mine, you have the test report ready. Sign and stamp. That's it. We hope this video manual will be useful for you. Thank you for your attention.